I'm going to go through the steps on how to install MATLAB on your computer. First of all, come to the mathworks.com website. You'll need a password, username and password with a license that you might have already purchased. And here on the home page, you can explore the latest release. In 2017B, there's some new features for deep learning, data analytics, Internet of Things, uh, and others. So they're really trying to make it uh, better for some of the data analytics and machine learning tools that are out there. Okay, so we're going to explore the latest release. Go ahead and uh, select that button. This is a 2017 at a glance. You can watch that video if you want. I'm going to skip right to the download release now. And we're going to go with the Internet Installer. So you have an option on the right-hand side. There's some earlier releases if you'd like to get those. Or you can get the default one here with 2017B. Now this is going to be about 100 megabytes. So uh, you're going to select the you know which installer you'd like to use. This one's going to be a Windows 64-bit. One of the things that I'm going to watch with this is just how much room this install is going to take up. I have a, um, just for recording these videos, I have kind of a small hard drive on this computer. And so let's just go and look at this as we do the install. We'll do it before and after. And so if I right click here, I see that I have 21.7 or 21.2 gigabytes left. Okay, and uh, you know, one thing to do is um, you can also come in here to disk cleanup. This is a good thing to do if you're going to be installing something big like uh, you know MATLAB is just you know clear up some room on your disk if you're running a little bit low because this might be several gigabytes of storage that we're going to need. Okay so run that um, and uh, and then when this is done okay you're going to see an installer here. This is going to be an internet installer about 113 megabytes. You can come here to uh, right click on it and you'll be able to see or you just see the size there 113 okay and then I'm going to go and double click this and it's going to unzip this archive um, and it's, then it's going to start and so you can select a couple options there uh, but this should just automatically start unzipping and it will unzip to a folder and then we'll need to run something within that folder so the executable is not necessarily the installer, it's just going to unzip something onto your desktop and then you'll go ahead and open up this uh, folder okay and it's going to automatically start the install okay and then you can see this temp folder right here that it created if it doesn't start then just go ahead and go in there and run the setup.exe and you're going to need administrative privileges to do that Okay, and so also the very first thing that it asks you is about your MathWorks account. And so you can either use a file installation key or you can log in with your MathWorks account. And that requires an internet connection. So this is an internet installer. I'm going to use the internet connection. And I'll just uh, select next. And I'll agree to the terms. And this is the account now don't ask me for my password on the uh, YouTube comments I am not going to give that to you so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here and then uh, go ahead and type in my password and then we'll go on to the next step okay so here is the license this is uh, a license through the university that they've acquired and so here's a total academic headcount I'm gonna go ahead and click next on that and then it will use that license now and then I can um, and then go ahead and proceed with the installation if you need to you can put in your activation key if uh, you want to you can select the default folder I'm just going to go ahead and keep that as C drive program folders MATLAB 2017B but you can change that there okay and then you can select which toolboxes you want and um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave that as the default, I might need, for example, the Parallel Computing Toolbox. And I'll show you later on how you can install other things for, for example, for like Arduino support and others. But this looks like a pretty good fit. Uh, just kind of guessed my interests there. Maybe some of the most popular toolboxes. Okay, put some shortcuts. 
in different places. Um, I'll go ahead and select add it to desktop and then I'll add it down to my um, down to my task area as well. Okay, so here's where it gives the download size 3.8 gigabytes and then installation size is 11 gigabytes. So if you go back to your hard drive, now this one's a, a small, very small hard drive. Um, but again, you just want to check that to make sure you have enough space on your computer. So I do have enough space. I've already used a little bit just with that installation uh, files and you'll be able to delete these two uh, later that are right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start the install. And now it's going to go ahead and download the, th the three plus gigabytes and then go ahead and install it. So now you're in for a little bit of a pause uh, based on your internet speed and also your computer speed and be able to install that but just count on a little while for the installation. Okay, this is still downloading. You can see each of the packages installing. Right now it's about 27% complete. And you'll see that it has uh, you know, total target size for each of the packages. This one's currently a statistics and machine learning toolbox, which is um, one of the revised or newer ones that was advertised there in the release of the product. Uh, in this case, 368 megabytes. So it's just going to download, it's going to take a long time, and then it'll start the installation. So I'll go ahead and pause it again, and then we'll pick back up in a little while. Okay, it's just wrapping up the download now. It's about 99% of the way done. And it's installing now. It's finished downloading, and now it's installing some of those uh, packages. And then we'll see it kind of transition. You can see the time there. If you're just tracking the time, you'll see about how long this is taking on this computer it is a solid state hard drive um, although it is smaller and uh, if you come back here to the uh, windows and i'm just going to look at um, let's just look at the amount of space that's left so you can see about 8.1 gigabytes uh, left as it's installing this and uh, so i started off with uh, around 20 and so it looks like there's about 12 gigabytes that's used with this install. Okay, and now it says uh, the product configuration notes. Your license has additional products available. Go to add-ons uh, to get them. I'll go ahead and click next. And then I'll select to activate MATLAB to make sure you're, you're connected to the internet during this process. And it'll contact MathWorks and then activate the license. Okay, and then I'll just click confirm just to continue, and activation is complete. Okay, now one thing that you can do is just go ahead and delete these two that were there. So I'm going to go ahead and just send those to the recycle bin, and you can even empty your recycle bin if you like, just to free up just a little bit more space. Okay, and then you might want to put um, you know, this icon down here on your taskbar. You can also remove that from your desktop if you just want to have it down here on your taskbar. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start MATLAB for the first time and uh, let's just see any messages that are there. Again this is just from a fresh install and I had you can also install other versions of MATLAB on your computer so you could have multiple versions if you'd like and then you can start up the one that you want. I found that it um, you know having multiple versions on a computer really doesn't cause any problems except if you're limited with your hard drive space and the 13 gigabytes that it uh, might require. So this is just going to start up. It starts up just a little bit slower the first time, um, you know, and then I'll, uh, and then we'll see what the interface is like. Okay, so here's 2017B, uh, very similar to what it was before with the prior releases, but just some additional uh, things that are needed. And then you can uh, customize it once this starts up. Here's some add-ons, for example. And I'm going to come down here to the, um, you can get different toolboxes or manage your add-ons. I'm going to go down here to get hardware support packages and install the one for an Arduino. Okay, so it just opens up this add-on explorer. And then you'll see that you're going to have a list of, um, so by category, 
Okay, and you'll see this one come up, or you can just search right here. And uh, let's just do Arduino and see which ones come up from the list. So there's Simulink and MATLAB support for Arduino. And so you can install, for example, uh, select one of these and then go ahead and install it. And then it'll add it to your um, to your installation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select, let's see if I can select this. And then I can click install over here on the right. Let's see if that gives me an option. And so there's an option to download only or to install. And then again, you just have to log into your MathWorks um, account. And then it will, uh, you can, if you select keep me logged in, then other ones will just come automatically. Okay, so I'm going to pause it. Okay, now it's going ahead and, uh, and downloading this package. And then you just select I accept, for example. And then it's going to continue. And you'll have these licenses you can look at if you want, or just select next. And it'll download the support packages, any third party packages, install them, and then configure the installation. So that's how you install additional add-ons that are available in MATLAB. If you need, um, you know, for example, hardware support or other packages that might be available under your license. So we didn't install everything, but you can come back in here and install some of these optional packages that you might need. Okay, and continuing with this Arduino installation, you'll see that uh, Windows Firewall has blocked some features. Okay and then you can just allow access uh, you know for example on private or public networks and so I'll just click allow access and then it'll finish installing third-party packages and then it'll be done and then you can install uh, plug in your Arduino for example and be able to run code that's going to interact with your Arduino okay so it looks like the installation is complete it took a little while to uh, complete, but um, I'm going to go ahead and set up. Um, it says I need to set up now, or I can set up later. Uh, just a couple more installation steps here. I'm going to go ahead and select that, set up now, and then it'll hopefully complete this. Um, I have to just enable uh, Arduino USB driver installation. So just a couple other things. Looks like these things just walk you through, you know, the installation very nicely here, and um, Here's a USB driver. You got to click yes to give it like administrative privileges. And uh, I'll go ahead and install this. Okay. It's asking me a lot of times there if I would want administrative privileges. And I just select yes every time. And um, so then I can go on to like um, set up the Arduino board connection, for example. And then what it'll do is it'll automatically download the firmware that MATLAB needs to the Arduino device and then it'll um, you know, kind of like a standard Fermata that you use with Python uh, or other uh, packages uh, just a standard way of communicating over USB serial connection uh, to the Arduino so uh, this is just an example of an Arduino add-on and uh, I'll just go ahead and um, you know, finish the video here um, you know the the main thing is that uh, it'll take you about an hour to install MATLAB in general to, you know, if you're installing it over the internet, for example, and you have a speed uh, comparable to mine, or a computer that's about as fast as mine, um, you know, and, it, and it'll take about 13 gigabytes, 12 to 13 gigabytes to do the installation, depending on the packages that you choose. And then you can also add additional things like I've shown here with the Arduino support. Um, so hopefully this is helpful and uh, feel free to leave any comments below.